Hello everybody, Don here, and we're back. And I got one thing I'm going to work on really quickly while I remember how to do sensors. So we are going to look at this. We are going to do devices. We are going to set this up for the rear door. And about like that. And come into here. We're going to call this uh, door. Uh, we'll call it entrance. And then we want to have... I've got to set up all of these RCS for the... Uh, I gotta. I can't auto group these, or I'll screw up the the heavy lift. But I do want to have those additional ones. So what we need to do is not under there, under devices. We need a new group entrance, and we're gonna have. The ramp is going to move down to entrance. The door is going to move to entrance. And then under signal logic, we're going to have this be entrance, follow, inverted. This is going to be entrance, regular. Bam. You are in there now. And then we are going to add this one to devices. We're going to move this to heavy lift. We're going to come down here, move to last group. Move to last group. So those are all the additional RCSs. And then we're going to move this one to weapons group. This is going to be moved to the weapons group. Uh, spotlight cube. You are going to go to lights. And then that is going to go to... Nope, we don't have a constructor group, so let's make a constructor group. This is going to get moved to constructor group. And then we have a motion sensor, which is going to get moved to entrance. There we go. Everything is grouped now. Perfect. So if we come into here and main double toggle that. So now we have not all the thrusters and part of the RCSs are shut off. Now if we come into here, I already have oh, I already have it in my inventory. I have had enough stuff to make one auto miner. And we are going to go out and place this down. I think what I'm going to do is put it over on this Promethium deposit. Um, yeah. So we're going to take the tortoise out. So it's pretty much directly underneath us. Right there. And then we're going to power it up with 
fusion cells. That will run for a very long time. Now we just have to remember to come back and periodically take the stuff out of it. Just make sure that, okay, yes, controller, container controller is taken out. Now we are going to go back to the armory. That we can remove. That we can remove. So we have just the armory. And we're going to see about taking over this thing. I forgot to bring a core with me. Back to base real quick. We're, we're fairly close. Yeah, I got plenty of ammo. We just need to make a core real quick. Uh, next expansion to the base that I need to do is additional storage. Because we are kind of running low on those. Things are getting a bit tight. landing. Power down, let me out. Thank you. Now, I still don't think I've set up a wireless thing on this, so we got to get a little bit closer. And we want... Let's just make 10 cores for now. So, like, in this output one, it is... Like I said, it's getting... Pretty full. Uh, we do have another cargo box here that I can slap down. I just don't really have a great place to put it in here. Um, I mean, I could put it there. Because we want to do one of these. I think this is for... No, that's for CV and a base. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll take two cores with us. We'll let the other ones just stay in there. Control on and just sit back and relax. Uh, do have a couple things in here for updated blueprints. Uh, I have I made this monstrosity and then I actually made it look a little bit better. Uh, on this, so this is like a starter. HV Miner, I guess, out of the Pebble. Um, I haven't really thought of a name for it yet. Uh, it, it's a Pebble <laughs> that eats rocks. And then we've got uh, this thing is for uh, Excalibur's Build Challenge. It is a level 20 unlock, heavy assault, POI buster tank with salvage capability. It has 2x32k um, uh, storage system in it. It's currently set up for cargo um, cargo controllers just for the um, just for the showcase because the, uh, the ore and wood controllers don't actually work with weights. Okay. Let's pop on out of there. Hello. 
reloading. Loading again. Turrets down, load. That should be everybody here. Let's loot the bodies real quick. We'll go through that door in just a moment. I just want to get the things that could potentially despawn on us picked up. Let's see if we got anything good. A little bit of food we can pick up. Ooh, laser rifle cells. That's nice. Now... Yeah, I was going to say. Pretty sure I brought my explosives with me. Done. One core on number nine. Bam, you are mine. Give me all your juicy goodness. We are going to connect to the tortoise. Oh, I have to reload my multi tool. So, tortoise. That is two drill laser modules. Absolutely amazing. Yep, yeah, okay. So you let me loot you through the wall. We're gonna look around and see if there is any more of these special loot containers. I don't want to take too many blocks, because the blocks are stupid expensive. Or not expensive, heavy. Um, I will take you. Probably going to chuck those in the factory. Components. Minigun rounds. Ooh, oscillators. That's nice. We'll take the ventilator. Flux coil. That's a nice find. It's nice little ammo there. Plasma cannon cells, okay. And that should be back to the beginning now. That's where the O2 tank is. Yeah, so we can't take anything out of you. Power-wise, yeah, we're not going to be able to take anything for power. We're going to grab all of these that we've already looted. 
Well, I will be setting up a cargo warehouse at some point. So that's where these will come in handy. Is that we're gonna take the generator? And now this is where we get into drop down simulator twenty nineteen, as Spanj would say. Lots of really nice ammo. Yep, I was going to say, I thought I missed number seven. Cargo box five. That's ten. Nope, got to go with eleven. Let's see, we're at 327 tons. That's more than this thing's going to be able to lift off with. Way more than what we're going to be able to lift off with. I believe. We'll try it with heavy lift. Did I get... Did I miss 16? Nope. Okay, so 18 is the next one. This thing has got an absolute ton of these things. 19. That's two. Now we're into the 20s. Come on, give me something really good. I think we've got all of the, the really good stuff out of here already. This looks like just components left. things that require uh, cobalt I'm finding so that's nice multi-tool that'll go in the factory nanotubes that's a nice find Seven. And we missed cargo box five eight. going to grab as much of this stuff. As we think we could possibly fit. And then we'll figure out what we gotta chuck in the um, in the factory. Well, we don't have to chuck anything in the factory. We probably will. I'm 
pretty much gonna just figure out how many of these uh, cargo boxes I'm gonna keep. Yeah, so inventory is full there. So what we're gonna do is steel blocks, hardened steel blocks. You're gonna go in the one stack of cargo containers. Uh, so this we're going to use is kind of kind of like a dumping ground for factory materials. Uh, you can come over here. Yeah, laser rifle cells I don't need to keep on me. Small generator, those will pop in the factory. We'll dump those in for now, just because we're going to pick up more. Ammo boxes we'll put in as well. I misclicked. There goes my mining cells. You don't contribute? Oh, okay. Odd. Uh, let me see. That's, that's pretty much all the heavy stuff right now. Completely got rid of that Xerax territory. Yeah, so this is the this is the last side. multi-tool charges there. There we go. We'll take the doors. take the elevators, we'll take you, nothing important up there, okay, so ammo box, let's see, we have some hardened steel there, um, actually, yeah, We have eight, fifteen, let's keep twelve for the storage facility. Ventilator can go, shut up. Actually, we can 
take all the stuff back. I actually don't need to do that. Because we have enough room. Or we have enough uh, lift capability in this thing. With the way it is right now. It will fully lift it. It's just a little slow on the turning because I don't have the additional RCS on. Um, but this thing, it'll, it's at what, 45.4 tons? Yeah, so 45 and a half tons. This thing doesn't even notice 45 and a half tons. Other than it, it takes a little bit longer to turn. So I'm going to get the stuff back to base. I'm going to probably organize the... Uh, the stuff off base or off camera, uh, organizing the base storage off camera. Probably going to have to get a whole bunch of concrete uh, to make the next wing that's going to be the, uh, the storage facility or the storage warehouse, I guess you'd call it. Uh, I'm trying to keep this, uh, I'm trying not to use the cargo extensions because they require a whole lot more power. I would like to keep this possibly running quasi off of solar power. Um, if I would remember to actually turn off the constructor before I leave during the day, it would actually charge the batteries up a little bit better, but I keep forgetting to do that. So I'm going to end it here. I'm Don. See you guys back for the next episode. Have a good one.